Modern Gallery, Episode 2. Have fun. This particular sculpture that you were referring to is, is by a, a favorite person and artist of mine. Of course, I love them all. Uh, this is by Toland Sand. And Toland has been making glass for well over 40 years. Look at that. Talk about bling. Yes. <laughs> this is hand assembled dichroic glass inside and on the outside is optic glass. What's dichroic glass? Dichroic glass, dichroic means two color. Okay. And so it means that it will pick up like prismatic glass. It'll pick up one color and it'll transmit it into another color. Ah. So it may pick up a blue and mm -hmm. it'll turn it into a purple or vice versa. And uh, But if you look closely, phenomenal. those are all hand cut cubes, all cold fused together. Wow. Months and months of planning and effort. Um, and Toland has done it so long, he can make it look effortless. But of all of the artists that work in dichroic glass, uh -huh. uh, Toland is the most imaginative I've ever seen. He really It is shows, oh it shows. Work. And if um, someone were to purchase, uh, Toland's piece, would it come with this DJ well, turntable it, it, here? Well, it, this, this is actually attached to it, so this is oh. all part of the sculpture. Okay. If they want a tall, um, if they want a tall pedestal like this, uh, we can have them have one made, or we can sell them uh, one. To I love this. Use them. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, that's fascinating. Very fascinating. I, I want to show you a couple of other of his pieces because just so you know that he's not stuck in any kind of rut. This is what's called a split cube. And this has all clipped corners. He's ground the corners off. Creative. Uh... Wow. And then there's a little peephole right here that he's ground out in a perfect circle. You have to look into it and just can you see like... You can look right into right it into and you get a so. bird's eye view of Toland's world. <laughs> this is really fascinating. super fascinating, incredible, my goodness, the talent. I am overwhelmed in a great way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, we, we think that artwork should, like we said, should be engaging, which includes being fascinated, something you want to look at over and over. Yeah because uh, it's always sad to, to uh, think that somebody has a piece of artwork that just doesn't speak to them any longer. Right, right. Um, this is also another sculpture that Tolan just made. This is, uh, this is opaque glass. It's not dichroic. And opaque is? Opaque glass is glass that is, you can't see through. It actually has color all the way through. Okay, so there's no manipulating of the colors. No. This is what it's all about. Right this is more about the sculptural uh, element of glass, more so than the optic element of glass. I'm creating a wish list now. <laughs> <laughs> well, just remember us at Christmas time. I am we, definitely. We've uh, helped to fulfill a number of Christmas wishes. <laughs> so I just had to have a seat in these chairs are super enticing. So speaking of modern and modern furniture, have a look at this here. <laughs> so I, I, I made Ryan sit and talk <laughs> just for a minute here. <laughs> well, as I said, we, we have really focused on not a particular medium. We want uh, to represent uh, a whole movement. We want to focus on the modern art movement. Mm -hmm. And that includes furniture today. Well, function, appealing, modern, you nailed it, right, with the, the gallery. And actually, surprisingly, uh, these chairs are they really, really uncomfortable. comfortable. They, they are. look torturous. <laughs> <laughs> behind us are contemporary, is a contemporary artist, one of my favorites, uh, 
both as a person and as a painter, Henry Jackson, San Francisco artist. Works in uh, two oil media. One is a, what we would call an oil-based wax and oil paint, so that you get highs and lows, you get matte and sheen. Yes. And uh, he's very, very creative uh, action painter. Absolutely, I love it. I'm, I'm just like envisioning him creating this piece. Like, I feel like he has his music on really loud. Okay. <laughs> he's just going to sound. Yes. Another medium that we added to the gallery uh, not too long ago was uh, hand sculpted wood marquetry uh, by uh, James Perry. Yeah. Uh, Jim, right out of art school, had yeah. his first exhibition at the Whitney Museum in New York. Straight out of art school. Right out of art school. Wow. And uh, as a graphic you're touching designer. It. Can I touch yeah, it? Yeah, you should. <laughs> Ooh. Wood is always happier when it's touched. Yeah, okay, yeah. The oil on your hands help to preserve it and oh. deepen the patinas. But it, this is all hand assembled. And uh, again, no CADs, uh, everything cut on a table saw and then uh, put together like a puzzle. And Impressive. Then When I walked into this gallery, I immediately felt that this is a hip place to be. Like, I felt very, like everything's very modern and fun and inviting. There's really some high class quality artwork here. Highly recommend coming to Westbrook Modern Gallery. Please say hi to Brian Westbrook when you do come. And keep watching The Purple Road, you guys, because this is just the beginning and we're bringing nothing but the best to you. Thank you.